Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Physics. Six major highlights of the past week, in one video. I am your host, Isaac Newton just kidding just kidding. I am an ordinary stick figure, helping you stay up to date. Number 1. On International Women's Day. Astrophysicist Jocelyn Bell Burnell, was invited for a talk, to inspire schoolgirls to enter scientific fields, like astronomy. When Jocelyn was a graduate student, she discovered a new type of star. A highly magnetized rotating neutron star, that is called pulsar. Her advisor at the time, won the Nobel Prize for this discovery, but she was ignored. Bell was recognized in 2018, by winning Fundamental Physics Prize. She donated her $3 million award, to fund supporting diversity in physics. Bell says, girls can do physics, and can do it well. It must have been an absolute honor, for these young girls to meet in person, such a legendary scientist. Number 2. Aryabhata Research Institute, of India, will train students in observational astronomy. This is a unique opportunity, for final year master students, or postgraduates in physics, to gain first-hand experience in astronomy. The school will host 30 students, for 10-day training in May, covering topics like, optical data analyzing techniques, galactic, and extragalactic astronomy, observing star formation, and more. This research institute, located, in the Himalayan state, has the largest optical telescope in Asia. You may apply, by going to the address, in the description. Number 3. The European Council, of Nuclear Research, or CERN, has suspended collaboration with Russia. This happens, following a request of Ukraine scientists, as we discussed in episode number 2. CERN is the world's leading destination, for particle physics research. Scientists from 30 countries, work here. And Russian scientists, make up about 8% of CERN staff. The decision, amid Russia-Ukraine tension, is the first of its kind. CERN management, said, we are deeply touched, by the tragic consequences of the aggression. The Large Hadron Collider, is expected to begin new observations, this spring. War has dented, any future collaboration, with the Russian institutions. Let us hope, that the situation eases soon, and science can thrive again. Number 4. Organic molecule, dimethyl ether, has been detected in a planet-forming disk, around the IRS-48 star. This discovery, was long awaited, says Alice Booth, a researcher at Leiden University. For a while, we thought it impossible, to observe these molecules. Dimethyl ether, is a precursor, to larger organic molecules. From these results, we can learn more about the origin of life, on our own planet. The star, in the northwest, of the center of the Milky Way, is surrounded by planetary disk. This is how, our own solar system was once formed. Atoms and simple molecules, like carbon monoxide, stick to dust grains, forming an ice layer. From the heat of chemical reactions, the ice layer is sublimated, to gas, and the resulting complex molecule, is detectable. Number 5. Astro-tourism to be promoted, by Rajasthan state government, in India. As part of this initiative, high-quality telescopes, will be set up in each district. Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan, was described as an astronomical haven, by the Time magazine. The state is famous, for astronomical instruments, built by Rajput King, Sawai Jai Singh. Installation of quality telescope, in each district, will promote night sky tourism in the state, says Mugda Asina, Secretary of Department of Science and Technology. Number 6. An image, from Atacama Large Millimeter, Array in Chile, captured enormous gas rings, around an aging red star. The star, named V. Hydre, is losing mass, as it transforms into a white dwarf. But such ring-like structures, have never been seen in any object, like this before. In death, stars convert lighter elements, into heavier elements, by nuclear fusion. V. Hydre, has so many carbon compounds in its atmosphere, that it is classified, as a carbon star. Observation of concentric rings could help astronomers understand, how stars die. So, that is all for today. I will see you next Sunday, with more updates.